In college, my roommate and I were both communication majors. And after college, we both found ourselves unemployed, then underemployed. He delivered newspapers and I waited tables, but not for the same reason. For him, the point of college had been to earn a degree, which he thought of as a passport to a good job. Then he carried it to job openings where there were a hundred other applicants with the same degree, and he had nothing to set himself apart. I was unemployed because I'd turned down a job offer to pursue my real passion. It was an excruciating decision, and I never would have had the judgment or courage for it if I hadn't just spent four years exercising those exact qualities or building confidence in my ability to learn. The main way I did that was by writing. In fact, writing has proven to impart many of the skills that employers now value most. Critical thinking, problem solving, communication, adaptability. Those skills are probably the reason my roommate eventually found a career in the wine industry, moving through positions that had nothing to do with his degree. That's a common situation. It happens to a lot of graduates. But even if you have a career in the field you studied, the technical training you get in college is eventually going to become outdated. What will you do to keep up with professional, technological, and cultural shifts we can't predict, like the ones we're experiencing right now from AI? You'll need to be able to think, to solve problems, to communicate, and to adapt. Writing helps impart those skills. I hope the job market isn't as bleak for you as it was for my roommate, but I wouldn't count on it. Multiple media outlets have been reporting a sharp decline in entry-level jobs. The reason? Employers are enlisting AI to accomplish the tasks that they once hired recent graduates for, and so it's possible you might find yourself in the same situation my roommate did. Casually offloading your work to AI won't give you a leg up on other applicants. They can do that just as easily as you can. Besides, any job that can be accomplished that way will probably disappear soon. Maybe David Graeber, the author of BS Jobs, would be glad. If that's how people approach their writing, I suppose it really is the kind of BS job he described, and so is the rest of higher education. Imagine for a moment that college becomes a big AI factory, where students do nothing except paste assignment prompts into AI, and then paste AI output into their assignments, and they take on crippling debt to spend four years of their lives on this work, pasting text. Does this have any shred of value to humanity, or is it a fever dream of the worthless work Graeber described? For some students, it's no dream at all. It's their everyday waking reality. We teachers can't force you to do your own writing and thinking anymore. AI has given you a choice. What will you choose? What will you base your choice on? How much thought will you put into it? All we can do is ask the questions. You have to answer for yourself.